This is P. This is P and we're back with another unboxing video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe now. That way you can stay up to date with all the latest uploaded videos from P. Friday, thank God it's Friday, February the 8th. And um, got some heat to unbox in my opinion. This is gonna be my first time having them in hand that I can remember. Um, and we're gonna take it back with this retro release from 1996 to 2019. The release date was February the 1st. So let's jump into it. I'll probably be doing like a comparison video as well, or like a versus video. This is from Fila, and this is gonna be my second Fila unboxing video. So, um, and with my first Fila unboxing, it was actually from uh, Finish Line, and it was the Grand Hill 95s, which was a classic, and I got those for the low. I mean, like, crazy low. I think it was like 29 bucks, and it was two different colorways. I should have got both, but I didn't. But it is what it is. But still classic. And in my collection, never had this much problem <laughs> cutting open a box. But move the box cut out the way. No buck 50s today. So, Fila ordered this um, Friday. Last Friday, I think, which was February the 1st. And I just got it in yesterday, so I didn't have time to unbox it, although I wanted to. And we're gonna get this out of here. And as you can see, that classic Fila box. So check them out. Hopefully these are still available if anybody want to cop. And if the price is right, I might. But this is the um, Fila 96. True to size, nine and a half. 2019 style. Check out the box with that white, blue, and red. And I'm gonna call these, as you can see in the title, the Tupac Filas, and we'll get to that in a second. But let's check it out. Oh, this is taking it back. Taking it back to the 90s, high school days, which I didn't have these. And the only uh, Filas I remember having in high school was in ninth grade. Had some Fila boots and they was crazy dope. They had like the little straps on them which um, I could adjust but with the straps you sort of had them hanging off in the back and somebody let me borrow their purple ones and I put them in my boots. They was dope. Long story short. Killing them. Black boots. Fire. Flames. And just looking at these I can tell 1996, um, the artist Tupac Shakur, AKA Machiavelli, um, which started off of Digital Underground. We just saw the movie. If you had a, had a chance to check it out, it was pretty good, All Eyes on Me, for 2017, 2018. But in 96, he dropped the um, double CD under um, Death Row Records, um, All Eyes on Me, which this is the original cover from the one I ordered back in 96 from like uh, Columbia House or BME or whatever, where you get like six CDs for free and then you have to order. This is the original cover. I still got the original disc and uh, classic. I mean, the singles on this was, of course, California Love, um, um, I Ain't Mad At You, and um, I got my mind made up with Method Man and Red Man. Also, oh, um, what was the name of that song? Every Other City We Go. All About You. Yeah, that was fire. Um, Ambitions of a Rider. They might have played that on the radio a little bit. How Do You Want It was a major single uh, featuring KC and JoJo. But Tupac had on these kicks in the bottom of this photo on the inside of the cover. And you probably saw other images of him wearing these as well. So when I saw these was coming back out, I was like fire flames. 
white. And what stands out is this ring of patent leather. In 95 and 96, I mean, it was just heat um, with a lot of the different brands. You got the Fila embroidered right here real big. Crazy kick. Premium, premium materials with the Fila embroidered in the back. The strap. You wear these with blue jeans all day and be crisp. Or white jeans. Um, or like a Fila windbreaker suit sweats, which I got on some navy sweats now. I know these will look crazy dope. And the inside is like this plush leather behind the tongue. These are fire flames. <laughs> Let's get a close up on these. Yeah. Grail. Fila on the bottom with the big F. Look at the traction, almost like a wheel. And the 95s are crisp too. I'll try to get those in a video up tomorrow. Got the pull tab, got the Velcro strap, and the navy blue. I'm glad these came out exactly like the original because when I saw these was releasing on Instagram, I was like, okay, let me go to the Fila site. Went there, pulled up the pics of this colorway and the different colorways dropping to see if it matched up. Oh yeah, they always have this little hang tag with the year on them. What the 95 did, the Grand Hills. But check it out though. <laughs> Tupac, R.I.P. California style. But yeah, um, so you got that white, navy, red, and broader broadery um right here real large and this is plush on the inside i mean this is leather plush tongue super soft and you got the shoe tree like a little cardboard one feel on the inside yeah so these are definitely stunt proof I mean, stunting hard, crispy, and just the craftsmanship of the shoe. You know, um, I think last year we started seeing feel like gear. And even if you wasn't on the shoes, you couldn't deny like some of the sweatshirts and hoodies and stuff, which I had this feel like jacket. Um, a neighbor, like I was living in VA, uh, going to school, whatever, 10th grade year, 9th or 10th grade year, I think 10th grade year ninth grade year because I remember uh, Biggie Smalls and Taurus B.I.G. Anyway, my friend um, had stayed with his uncle because he got he got in trouble in New York. I think like somewhere maybe in the borough of the Bronx. So shout out to everybody who's watching this video. And he came down with mad Tommy gear. His uncle was rich right up the street. He had the whole basement to himself. He had the Notorious Big tape. I had never really heard too much from him. So like, I'm already going through it, picking out Big Papa because of the sample of Between the Sheets. And the whole album was banging. But he had to do homeschool, so he was only able to hang out with me when we go to the football games or whatever, the beginning of the school year. And um, so he would have all this Tommy Hilfiger gear and um, I would get to rock it. And he was wearing the Fresh Caesar, so he used to play video games go through uh, cassette tapes and all of that for like a whole year and um, but long story short he had this heavy duty jacket he had got from uh, New York it was a feline jacket a pullover with like the zipper in the middle like the half zip plush and it was like white red and blue with the big emblem on it and the big feline emblem like on the back of it but underneath the hoodie you could see it and on the inside it had fila stamped all on the inside of it it was crazy and um i wore it a lot he just let me have it or whatever and um i wore it a lot I wore it to school and then my younger cousin um he just passed last year cj comrade jermaine pranty r.i.p to him in a car accident um but i let him wear it he traded me to um, carolina panthers little thin zip up by Apex. Um, so I let him wear that. So by that time, it's like my senior year, I had already wore it enough. So I passed it to him. And um, I remember wearing that um, Panthers jacket to like the after prom party or whatever. 